Hey guys, welcome back to my channel in my tutorials. So in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to create a measure which will calculate last three months or last six months or last 12 months of your sales. I have segment over here and the total sales. Let's say uh, you have a scenario wherein you have to calculate total sales and then you also have to display the sales for last three months and sales for last six months in a different column. So let's get started. So I'm going to go over here and click on new measure. So let's start typing in a new measure over here. Oops, let me just increase the size of this and let's call this as last three months sales. Okay, is equals to I'm going to use the calculate function and then within the calculate I'm going to use total sales. Now total sales, I already have a measure which is created, which is calculating the total sales for me. Okay, and then I'm going to say comma and then on the next line, I'm going to use the function called as dates in period. It is important to understand the arguments of the function because next time whenever you come across an issue, you should be able to use that particular function and apply the logic and solve it yourself. So I'm going to teach you that. So the first thing it's asking you us to enter is the date over here, which is nothing but the order date in my case. For you, it might be something else as well. So order date is the first column that we are going to enter over here and then it's asking me to enter start date so from when it needs to start so for for us it's important to calculate what is the max date that is available so i'm going to use the max function over here and then use order date or pass order date column within the max function so that we tell power bi that this is the maximum date that we have in our data set okay so that is our max function and then on the next line it is now asking us to enter the number of intervals now this intervals is basically telling you how many months or days or years do you want to go ahead or you want to go backward now you can also go ahead for example if you are in 2021 and you want to know the sales for next three months you can do that as well but in this particular example or the scenario over here, we are look going backwards. So in terms of number of intervals here, it's going to be minus three. Okay. Now this minus three is basically signifying that we are going three months backwards from the maximum date over here. So if let's say if your maximum uh, month over here is October, we are going three months prior to October, which is September, August and July. If you say six months, if you say six over here, we're going six months prior to October, right? So it's very important to understand this. So we say minus six comma, and then on the next line over here, we will say, what is the interval? An interval here can be month, can be day, can be year, right? So you can go either day, month, quarter or a year for us now you, we can we are planning to go with month right so we need to go back six months so you can also go by year you can go back one year you can go back two years you can go back three years or whatever you want now in our case it is month so we're going to choose month over here close the bracket once close the bracket twice so that the argument or you so that we close the brackets for the calculate function and then press enter so once we've done that Okay, let's quickly change this. We said last three months, let's change this to six months because we're now calculating for six months. And now let's bring in the measure that we created last six months into this particular table. So what is happening now is we now have total sales for this particular segment. And then we are also calculating the uh, sales for last six months, okay? And now if we have to validate this, let's come back to this particular table. Now I have filtered here for to display the sales for last six months. So if we look at consumer here, the last six month sales is 217,000. That is exactly what we have over here. Likewise for home office, our total sales for last six months is 102K. That is exactly what we have over here. Now, if you wanted to display last three months sales, we can quickly do that as well. Let's copy the entire measure over here create create a new measure and just change this to three and also change this to three and press enter now we have a new measure that is created to display sales for last three months now you can simply bring in this particular value over here and if you and then we're now displaying the sales for last three months okay now we can also uh, create another calculated column to show the difference between the last three months and last three months sales I can simply say difference uh, in sales 
is equals to last six months minus last three months okay press enter and then you can bring in the value over here so this is how much we have increased in last three months sales right so we're now subtracting last six months minus last three months and this is the difference between these two number of sales right so this is how you can achieve uh, the uh, last six months or last three months sales guys i hope this video has helped has been helpful to you you've learned something new today please consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials